I do think that's the most important aspect of any of these things that are being done is sort of demonstration concepts with the X Prize and the X Prize Cup. It's to take it out of this layer of mythology because people look at NASA and you look at the space shuttle and it is this thing of awe. And that's actually half of its point. You know, it's a point of national pride, national uh, treasure and all of this stuff. And uh, being awesome in this level is sort of the point of what, it, what it's all about, not so much getting to space in there. And people look at that and rightly so say, I could never build a space shuttle. And they're absolutely right. You know, you, it takes tens of billions of dollars to go put something like that together. And, but if you look at it and you start seeing something like Spaceship One or some of the Armadillo vehicles, and especially as you get down to looking at some of our particular things where people look at it and say, that's just some metal and some electronics and some kerosene and alcohol or whatever. And it becomes much more reasonable to think about it because a lot of smart people won't spend their time thinking about something that they're convinced is just impossible. That's kind of a waste of time. But if you can convince all of these smart people that might be doing something else that, you know, rocket ships getting to outer space, it's not impossible. It's not a ludicrous thing that you should be laughed at for entertaining the notion of even working on. It's something that is challenging, requires a lot of hard work, requires a lot of good engineering effort and bright ideas to get through, but it's not impossible. It just requires hard work and dedication, just like all the other things that we've accomplished over the years, and it just hasn't really hit yet for rocketry. And of course that makes it a really exciting time to be in where you want to be there when the breakthrough is kind of made and when it really does get radically cheaper and you get all of this positive feedback going on of uh, the capabilities allowing people to think about new things that nobody had even considered before which didn't cause more demand for these capabilities and you get this positive spiral going forward that we've seen in so many other industries. I mean we want to see the aerospace stuff follow some of the you know, the cycles of improvement that you see in electronics, say. And it's, it's absolutely possible, and it could be happening in the coming decades. That's good.